All right, welcome back. So I'm just over here doing a real, ins uh, real estate inspection. To be pretty quick and straightforward, uh, we've got a looks like a heat pump, one and a half ton. What I'm gonna do here is just first get my probes deployed here, my psychrometers, my supply here. Pretty cool little setup. Everything's very conveniently set up. We got our supply probe popped out in there. Now I'm going to have to return here. I'm going to go ahead and do everything true flow. Grab a picture here. Model and serial number. Open up measure quick. So we got system type, that's going to be a split. It's cool because, like for instance, condensing using air handler is. Uh, Take the year here, easily check. Serial number is going to show us. That's model number. Here's the serial 2013. Just pop that up and measure quick. Okay, so now I'm just going to set up my nominal tonnage, system type split, compressor scroll, year installed once again. 2013. It's going to be a TXV for the metering device. So 230, yep, single phase. Let's see what kind of motor this is. It shows it shows us it's a 7.5 capacitor. Uh, so. That's going to lead me to know that that's uh, it's going to be a um, PSC motor. Okay, filter information. I think the filter is going to be up in here. I don't see any filter in there. More than likely, it's going to be in here. Oh, there she goes. Fell by that's a 12 by 20 by 1 filter. Definitely recommend using larger media than this. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Wow. We'll have to take it out in order to check it. That's not going to cut it. That's terrible. I'm not even going to be able to use my true flow because I don't have a filter. So we can type that in 12 by 20 by 1. It's just going to be one filter there. So far we've got a 17 degree temp split. Not bad. Let's check our static pressure. Like I said, the filters always reset it, press it, flashes, press it again. I'll put a hole there, put a hole there, and reset that one more time. Got the supply arrow pointing up. Put this one in the return, pointing sideways. We got a total static, it's gorgeous. But like I said, once that filter, once we get the filter in, it's gonna be a lot higher on the return side, but either way, it's a great total static of 0.19, basically 0.2. Perfect. Capture that. 
Okay, so now I'm going to just check my motor, power factor, volts and amps. You can see that is a PLC motor, indeed. There's our capacitor. I'm going to check that as well. Let's try to kind of semi-close this off. Got the meter in kilowatts. Let's go ahead and select our tool, connect. And go to our electrical. So it is fan. I put one probe on one side, the other probe on the other. Then I'm going to take my amp clamp. That capacitor might be good. Looks like a power factor of 0.99. That's good. I'm going to capture that. 0.9 amps. And what I'm going to do. Check our capacitor. Simply go into our TechLink app. A single run. We already saw that's a 7.5. Continue. Yes. Now to check the capacitor, all you want to do. Clamp one side. Just basically put the clamp on both sides of the capacitor, like such. Okay, and then we take our amp clamp and put it around one of the leads entering the capacitor. So as we can see. We're within spec, 7.1 microfarads. Try to inspect everything in there. I'm going to quickly check the outdoor system, the outdoor pressures. Okay, so I've got my outdoor psychrometer. We're going to go ahead and put that in the Always keep it in the shade, right on the side of the condenser. Let's go ahead and get our pipe clamps locked in. Pressure transducers. So yeah, this is a 410A system, so. Okay, so far pressures are looking good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this. This is gonna be a high efficiency 12 to 13 sear. Uh, this is the Lennox, they've got slightly bigger uh, condenser coils. This thing is cooling beautifully. You can see our model number here. All right, so we're gonna do the same with the outdoor unit. Year is the second two numbers in the serial number. That's 2013 again. One and a half ton, so that's verified. It's a one and a half ton, 230 volt, 13 C is the first two numbers here. HP is heat pump. All right, so put this information here. Serial number, I'm just gonna get a barcode scanner there. Get that here. And our model number, I can just grab that from my lens. Get that from the Google lens here. 
See if it will allow me to copy. Yep. Copy text. Model number. Paste. Now we got the air handle and the condenser. So our pressure is looking perfect. 11 degrees of superheat. 9 degrees of subcooling. Temp splits gorgeous. Everything looks good. What are they giving us? Total external static pressure is too low. Haha, <laughs> that's a first, isn't it? I'm going to go ahead and clear that because I don't respect that. It's, it doesn't have a filter in, so... Not that I don't respect it. They're right, but if once it puts the filter in, that's going to give us a higher return static. So, And um, that's definitely a first for me. 0.2 total static. The filter is just too dirty to operate the system with it in, so... That's why I took it out. Let's go ahead and check our electrical. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Turn the meter on to kilowatts. Go to measure quick. Literally, amp clamp around the main line going in. And then put a on each side. Put a probe on each side there. There we go. Put our electrical measure quick. Condenser. Look at that. 0.98 power factor. So once again, more than likely that capacitor is good. Capture it. Uh, we're drawing um, about 1,000. 50 watts. Looks good. Let's take a look at our sear. It's showing 16 sear. I wonder why it always does that. The sear is always high for some strange reason now. Whatever. I'm just going to leave one probe on the common side of the contactor. Recycle this. Check my capacitor. So go back to my TechLink app. This is a dual capacitor. It's a 30 by 5 microfarad capacitor. So I'm going to hit connect, test, dual capacitor under load, 30 by 5, continue, yes. Took my uh, coupling clip off. I'm just going to put this little safety thing up. I'm going to grab my hermetic. So that's going to go to the start winding. Of the compressor. So we got our amp clamp. Then we're going to go and tap on to Snap. Showing 25. Let's check that out. I'm going to take a snapshot of that. I'd like to see if that's verified. The 25. Let's see how our 5 is doing. Showing 6.2. That's high. I don't know. We'll see. Now I'm just going to quickly check amps. Okay, so we got three amps on our compressor side. Point six five condenser fan. Everything looks good. I'm going to capture my outdoor measurements. 
All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and check this capacitor. Let's verify we got it on fan. I'd like to see if it was high. Well, it's five, so that's good. Let's check this side. It should be 31 based off what they've come up with. Ooh, nice, 29. So yeah, once again, the app is good. I think my app was showing 31 while it was running, and I think it was six on the um, fan side, which I don't know if I'd agree with that completely, but here we go. I always like to verify if things look a little off, but the power factor was good. Slightly low, but it was kind of within range. And of course, you always want to inspect the condenser coil, which this one looks pretty decent, pretty clean. No big deal. And the evaporator coil as well. So I'm gonna go do that. This system is running like a top, man. Running beautifully. Not gonna lie about it. Probably one of the better running systems I've seen. Oh, it's a decade old. It's one of the better running 10 year old systems I've seen. And that probably has to do with the way it was installed in the first place. Less than a, a quarter of an inch of total static pressure. Uh, Shows whoever put this thing in was, you know, they knew what they were doing. I like to, this is how I kind of inspect the evaporator coil. Just use my cell phone, throw it in video mode, just slide it up in there, do a quick little traverse, if you will, and just pop it back out. Ooh, yikes! Not good at all. Terrible. Yeah, that thing is dirty. Um. Yeah. <laughs> That's the reason our static pressure is so low. So it's good that Measure Quick did flag that. But what are they giving us? Total external static pressure is too low. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and clear that because I don't respect that. That thing is packed. Let's do an actual airflow test. Just do a quick traverse with our anemometer. Wow, that thing is terribly dirty. Okay, so I found this call peculiar for uh, multiple reasons. First off was just how good the actual system is running, even with that uh, evaporator coil being so heavily impacted. And the second was just the fact that Measure Quick actually was able to catch it before I did as far as the low static pressure on the return side. Um, it's definitely abnormally low uh, and I thought it was actually a good thing but in actual reality it was um, just an indication that there was something wrong something that we're really not used to seeing is especially in my market is just um, static pressure being abnormally low I'm used to it being abnormally high so another uh, another win for measure quick just thought I'd basically post this video just to show you don't ever slip don't get comfortable thinking that system's running right just because it seems to be running like visual inspection is key and another thing as you saw what i like to do let the system run i don't care if you're talking about a furnace heat pump straight ac you want to let the system run as long as possible do all the checks you can non-invasively and then at the end do everything that you have to turn the system off to check okay because these are the this is going to be where the problems pop up let the system run like i said you could go through at least 20 30 minutes worth of checks without ever having to turn the system off. So uh, just a quick video. Uh, we went ahead and let them know about this coil. Got them a price to get cleaned up for them. So we'll see if they get back with us. Other than that, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.